there, how's it going? Uh, this is Aaron Rennick. I am an instructional technology facilitator here in Mendel Public Schools. Um, and I'm also a parent. I have a, a child uh, who goes to a school in our district. And so today we're gonna look at how um, you need to create multiple profiles in your Google Chrome browser, okay? So this is gonna be for our families that have multiple kiddos. Uh, it comes in handy for, for me and my son because we both have access to Canvas. So I've created multiple profiles. So when he has to get on, on my device, he has his profile. And when I have to get on, on my device, I have my profile. Um, and that way we're not messing in, in each other's programs and we can all do our own, both do our own work. Uh, so like I said, many of our families might have multiple students as well um, who are working inside of Canvas. And this is something you're, you're gonna want to set up. So uh, first and foremost, on your computer or your device, make sure you have the Google Chrome uh, browser downloaded, okay? Uh, if, if it's not your default, you can, you know, in any, whatever your browser is, if you just, Go to google.com and, and Google Chrome browser download and you'll be able to add it up. Um, the Chrome browser works best with, with, our, with Canvas um, and our, our systems within our district. Uh, so once you've got that, uh, you can just open up your Google Chrome browser. Uh, it typically goes to a home page. Um, and what we're gonna talk about today is our profile in the upper right hand corner. So for me, I've got my Bitmoji. Um, and if it's your first time logging in, you'll have a, a sign in. Uh, so you can do this even parents for your own uh, Gmail account. Um, you can kind of set up browsers so they're across multiple um, devices for you. But anyway, uh, so up here, top right corner where my Bitmoji face is. So there's two. So this one is about my account, but this one, the smaller one, uh, pertains to the entire browser itself. So that's the one we're going to click on. And for me, this is, so this is my school account, erenic at mid-dell.net. Um, and so that's how I access Canvas is because I've got my browser synced. If you scroll down a little bit or move your mouse down, you'll see where it says other people. And you have an option of guest or you can add. So we're gonna add, you can add a profile right here. Um, so you just click on add. Uh, it makes you pick a, a photo. Um, this is just, you know, informational, so to say. Uh, Carter's into sports, so I'll have basketball. Um, and then you have to the name who that, is for so in my case I'm gonna put my son's name here um, and then I like to have this checked it says create a desktop shortcut shortcut for this user um, that way when Carter gets on my device he finds his little icon and he's able to log into his uh, each and every time and this will also create my icon on the desktop uh, so once you've got your name and you've chosen a photo this is check marked I uh, hit add and then it's gonna bring you, this is where you get signed in. So this is where you're gonna use your student's email. Okay, they are already Chrome users. So you will click on already a Chrome user, sign in. And then this is where you put your student's email address. Okay, your student's email is their legal first name. Um, if there's any special characters, those have been removed. And then they have a, a Google ID number. Um, your students should be coming home with that information. Uh, you can contact your child's teacher um, but check with your student first. They probably know this information, especially at the secondary level, uh, grade six and above. Um, all right, so here you would enter the email. So in my case, for my son, this is his. Uh, our student emails are all, after the at sign, they say mid-delonline.net. And that's the part that makes it a Google address. Once you have that fully typed in, you hit next. Your students should know their password um, you just enter their password there and then you hit next and there's gonna be a couple pop-ups go ahead and link the data say yes I'm in you want it to sync that way if you know maybe you have a second device that your child can log in on they can go through the same process um, or maybe they're able to see you know what's going on what they need um, no matter what device they're using as long as they're logged into Chrome okay um, and then what this does is this gonna, is going to create some uh, shortcuts. You can click their school programs, this folder here. If you notice, uh, my son's got options to log in using his Middell, okay? So he can go to Clever or straight into Canvas. Clever is gonna give him some options. You would hit this login with Google. And because we've already synced the browser, when I click this, it's gonna log me in automatically. And then I've got access to all of his uh, programs based on what the teacher wants them to go to. And so Canvas, for example, I can click on that. And again, it logs them straight in because we have set up an account for him in this Google. All right. Um, if you have 
uh, more children that you need to add, just go through the same process. It can be from one student's account that you've already created. Okay, again, you just hit this upper icon here and you would add and go through the same process for your, your second um, student and so on. All right, if you have any questions, um, please check out mid-dell.net. Uh, we've, we've revamped it for you guys. This is our district website. Um, and we've got helpful information for families, okay? All sorts of programs down here. This is another way to get to your student's Canvas or their Clever login um, if, if for any of our virtual students. You know, please reach out if you have any questions, and we hope this helps uh, with organizing your students um, and, and getting them logged in to all their programs that they need. Well, I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.